Welcome! If you've watched the video on completing the square, you know we're just a hop, skip and a jump away from deriving the famous quadratic formula. Let's do it here. First of all, what is the quadratic formula? Let's get it back in our heads. It says if you're given a general quadratic, ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero, then the solutions to this quadratic are given by this formula, s equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And we make kids memorize this formula and use it all the time. Um, I personally don't memorize this formula, though it has stuck in my head. And I don't necessarily make kids memorize it, but, um, but I guess we tend to because it's examined on all the standard tests, so I guess we have to. Anyhow, how do we even get to this formula? Let's ask, answer that question first. All right, I'm going to rely on the previous video on completing the square and uh, use the techniques I derived there. First of all, I want to obviate the problem that this number here, whoops, sorry, this number here is not a square. So I'm going to multiply the whole equation throughout by a. That gives me a squared x squared plus abx plus ac is zero. My next issue, if you saw the completing square video, is that this, if this number is odd, I could be in fraction land. The way to obviate dealing with odd no, uh, fractions is to multiply throughout by, now you would normally say two, but I'm going to say four. Let's multiply this throughout by 4. 4a squared x squared plus 4abx plus 4ac equals 0. Hmm, 4ac, how curious. All right, so let's, instead of solving the original equation as I presented it, let's work on solving this equation and ask ourselves, is this a square? Well, let me start by drawing us a box for the square. Here goes. The square will come from various pieces. One of the pieces is meant to be 4a squared x squared. All right, here goes. 4a squared x squared. That must come from 2 times a times x times 2 times a times x. Voila. Now, if this is a perfect square I'm drawing on the right here, these are two numbers the same, giving me two areas the same on the left that combine to make 4ab. So each of them need to be 2abx, sorry, 2abxs. So two pieces that combined that are the same to make 4abx must be 2abx and 2abx, which means this number at the top is something times 2ax gives me 2abx. This must be b, and this must be b as well. b times 2ax is indeed 2abx, which means this final piece of my square is b times b, b squared. Annoyingly, I have the wrong number. I've got this number in place of b squared instead. So this box here tells me I need to remove the 4ac and replace it with the b squared, and then I'll be completely happy. Well, let's do it. Let's subtract 4ac from both sides. So I now have that 4a squared x squared plus 4abx is negative 4ac. And let me now add b squared to both sides, plus b squared plus b squared. This I like very much, because the picture just above it, this box, tells me this quantity on the left is really 2ax plus b times itself equals b squared minus 4ac. Well, now we're there. Uh, let me just give myself some more space. Ta -dum, ta -dum, ta -dum. So we now have that something squared, this quantity squared, is given by this number. Well, that means 2ax plus b itself is the square root of b squared minus 4ac. could either be the plus version or could be the negative version. Well, let's add negative b to both sides. 2ax is negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac. And let's divide throughout by 2a. x must be negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Voila.